Okay, I've been working these hammers with the needling tool for some time, but at the same time that you want the softness created by the needling, you also want a certain front shaping too. Did I miss on that? I get all the way over. Seeing the signs of needling here. I think I need to stop and shine. Decide to start that. There. Okay. I'll start here. Okay, I'm just going to push, just push the felt into a smooth. called cold irony. I do this because it compresses the felt. This is not going to change what I did with the needling, but it does prepare a little more ideal surface. It's smooth and it's slightly compressed to the strike point on the hammer. And you're probably thinking, you got to be kidding me. Are you telling me that a little bit of shaping like this is going to actually improve the tone? And I most definitely I have another tool, it's like an iron, it's hot. This one feels a little stiff. It's just the back side of a brush. I mean, you could you could do it with a lot of things. You know, you can do it with a needling tool, just like that. But this is better because the needle's not going to poke me. And I've got a little bigger surface. It's just a smooth surface that's slightly curved, ideal for this application. So I'm just giving these heads. I don't worry about ironing anything other than the strike point. It's just the opposite there where the focus is the strike point. Put the action in, you want to shake it to make sure all the heads are low. If you push in and you catch this upper part, uh, you will break the head right off. They have no strength in that plane at all. wide angle and uh, the process of you know dialing a, uh, a piano
piano in and getting optimal tone. Um, it's time consuming and involved. You know, it started, the problems with quality of tone start when all these belts under here and at the center point underneath on what's called the bed as they wear. And now all of a sudden the heart, the piano, you know, is running a harder and harder, harder felt that creates a much a harder tone. It starts there. Uh, you, of course, have the key felt uh, here where they run on these posts and those have to be secure so the key is not wiggling. That's an important part of it. Um, you're, uh, of course, running felts where the keys toggle. Those have to be fresh felts. And then you have your action, which we just pulled out and looked at. And uh, I'll demonstrate. Yes, you want to look at it. Take this out. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of felts here. Uh, you know, you have, uh, of course, these are button felts, but there's felts at the underside of the whipping, and uh, those felts have to be uh, a little bit soft. You have all these, the, of course, the hammerhead felts, that's very, very important. Um, there's, there's a lot of different felt system. Understand that a piano is a machine which runs on wood and felt. And from the day you get it, it's gonna go downhill and then eventually the felts are gonna to need to be worked on. A lot of piano quality of tone also is just the precision of the settings. If you look at these heads of these hammers, they're precise and each, each one has been crafted, the shaping, the condition of the knuckle, uh, you know, the setting of the whipping, um, the condition of the screws, uh, all these have their little place in the creation of the overall quality of tone of the instrument. And uh, things go well. softer. See, and that song is very important. If you see really, ah, that's why there was a problem. Just a little bit of hardness up here, close to. I don't want to go too far. Let's see if we got it. By the way, we do want to be nice and this work, the gentle sound of are balanced by
feel when I pushed the needle in where the belt is still just a little bit too firm. See, with a trumpet, you're See the problem, it's a small head. There's not a whole lot of belt here, there's some. And we'll probably never be exactly what I want. I may have to replace this one with a new head. It's just there's not a lot here.